Oh, I should be on time for my MA40 appointment still. At Gasometer or Gossometer or whatever it's called. It's pretty close to that. Now, this is Music City. I'm not sure what they call it that, except there's that big music store at the other end of the building. This is kind of a neat building, actually. I don't know what the... There's like four or five of these big round buildings. They're all connected. And during the war, they might have been here during the war, I think. Something else. It's just a big shopping mall, basically. Yeah, how'd I get out of here? Oh, I think I gotta go upstairs. I mean, this is number one. This is the first big round building. Yeah, look at that. That's kind of cool. And MA40 is... Well, where is it? It's down that way and to the left, so I've got 15 minutes still to get there. And then they're going to tell me, we're sorry, you're not eligible for assistance. But at least I know that that's true. And I know where MA40 is. Here's an Apple store, kind of. It's an authorized service guy. I stopped off here once before. Maybe he could add some more RAM to my M1 Mac, which is impossible because they built that right into the processor on purpose, so you have to like get a new machine instead of upgrading your RAM, unless some hacker figured out how to do that, or maybe just your virtual memory settings might take care of the lack of RAM. I messed up. I should have gotten 32 or 64 instead of 16 because they keep on running out of RAM on my M1 laptop. Or maybe I could just get a new laptop, an M3. But that costs a lot of money. That's probably like, what, 3000 4000 Or a studio, those new Mac studios. Or even like a Mac Pro, but that's like 10000 I mean, that's like a really souped up machine, 10,000 euros for a computer that can do everything. But it doesn't have NVIDIA, I don't think. That's a problem with the Macs. I don't know that you can use an NVIDIA card, but maybe you could in a Mac Pro because it has those PCI slots or something. Oh, and they're not even open yet, are they? Music. Oh, that's a music university. Music lab. Yeah, so here's another one. This supposed to be number two or three. This is a student service music lab university fit in. I mean, I should get paid for this. I'm like promoting businesses in Vienna for free. Where music comes from. Klong, Klang, Farball. Yeah, this is the store here. I mean, look at this stuff. Here's a Roland. They've got some nice keyboards here. Rolling, rolling. This is all rolling stuff. Now, Roland, he was my former associate. These are Yamahas. Clavinovas. Oh, over here, Casios. Yeah. This section. The DGXs, these are all digital pianos. I mean, I had a DGX something or other at one point. 
Yeah, these are nice. Yamaha. Here's a Yamaha. I mean, that's one pretty simple. <laughs> I like the ones with 88 keys because those are like pianos. That was another nice one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's not bad, some of those. These are Casios. Casios. I mean, those are reasonable. Those aren't too bad. Those are cheap. And of course, they all have MIDI interfaces, probably. I mean, what's this one? That's got to be, that one's got to be a lot. This one. It's got a lot of buttons and bells and whistles and everything. Yeah, 